single older women than there are single older men. It's not crystal clear why either. Ha, True. it actually is crystal clear. Let me explain. Women in their 20s waste their time and money on stupid shit like Sunday brunches, week-long girlfriend vacations, all the material designer shit, all your fillers, all your fucking stupid shit. Meanwhile, men in their 20s are grinding, building their careers and financial portfolios, right? So when 30 comes around, since they sacrificed their 20s, they're now in the fucking club checking out the 20-year-olds because they want to have fucking fun. And all you want is kids and fucking marriage. And he's saying, fuck that shit. I want to have some fucking fun. It's my turn, bitch. Facts. If a dude is not obsessed with you, then it's because he knows what your true fucking intentions are. So you can take your ass to Target with the money you don't have because he cut you off, buy some makeup remover cloth so you can reveal your ugly lying face, and while you're there, grab a couple packages of personality because down the road when he trades you in for a newer, younger model, you're gonna need it. The reason men and women will never understand each other. Men are a straight line. We are simple. Women are a twirl around, up, down, left, right. They are intricate as hell. For instance, if a man says I'm fine, that means I'm fine. If a woman says I'm fine, oh my gosh, I'm sorry for you. With women, there's always something underlying to what they say. So I'm fine never actually means I'm fine. You have to do a mathematical equation to figure out what's wrong with them. Let me give you another example. For instance, if a girl wants to approach a guy that already likes her, she doesn't even have to say anything crazy. She can literally walk up to him and say, me like you, and he will say, me like you too. Whenever a guy is approaching a girl, he has to come up with the best pickup line. He has to come up with something that will bedazzle her. Because anything that falls under spectacular, it's not going to work out. So in conclusion, men are too simple and women are too intricate. Thank you for your time. So this is my face after four months of not wearing any makeup, eating healthy. Yeah, so this is my face after using the three-in-one body wash and the same bar of soap that I used to wash my ass. Only have a right to be treated respectfully. We are well, unfortunately well, running out of time, but Peter, I just want to get one final thought from you. Are there words that are used to describe men that offend you? Uh, not particularly, and, and if, if there were some I don't like, I certainly wouldn't want them banned. But it go, you know, it always goes back to that old adage: sticks and stones may break my bones, but there will always be something to offend a feminist. Peter well, that, no, that's just obnoxious. Peter Sorry, Lord, you okay, have to be careful. That is ridiculous. That, no, hang on, I won't do your show again if you don't let me respond. Oh, okay, have a word. Come on, that's ridiculous. I mean, first of all, that, like, first of all, to allow somebody on there. Who wants to be offended? Who wants to be Forty is the new twenty-five for men, but forty is the new eighty-five for women. Sorry, ladies. FLCS. Guys, the idiots are back. I think the scariest part about having triplets is having to be pregnant for twenty-seven months. Excuse me? Someone needs to rip this girl's vagina off, throw it in a treasure chest, and let that shit sink to the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. Because she doesn't deserve one if she has zero idea of how it works. Jesus, lady, babies aren't like making fucking Hot Pockets in the microwave. You don't need to add more time if you're having more than one. What do you think, they take turns growing? The first one gets nine months, then stops. The second one goes nine months. The third one does nine months, and he's like, yo, let's get the fuck out of here, all of us. What about that woman who had octuplets? She was pregnant with eight kids. What, was she pregnant for fucking six years? Whoever need to sit his mediocre ass down. Mediocre. What the fuck is that? Like a tree made out of salami? God, just look it up in the dictionary if you're not sure about spelling, please. Oh, look at this, we have a celebrity sighting. And uh, your favorite dish. My favorite dish. I like mugs because they're very comfortable in your hand and they hold hot things that you don't have to touch. <laughs> this reporter asked Demi Lovato what her favorite dish was. And she said, I like mugs. <laughs> Demi, your favorite dish, she means like a meal. No one gives a shit if you like mugs or plates or spoons or any of that shit. I like mugs. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. I love the reasoning she gave behind why she loves mugs because they hold hot things and they fit in your hand. We know what mugs are. I love how no one stops her. No one stops her in the middle of her answer like, no, no, we meant like, what your favorite food, what your favorite meal was. They just let her go off on this long, elaborate tangent about mugs. 1990 was 40 years ago. We getting old. I...
What? Fucking no it wasn't. Unless this girl's been sent back in time like the fucking Terminator, what is she talking about? How did she get 40? How did you get for to show your work? Show, no, I want to see your work. I want you to write it down, show me how you got to 40. You know what, now I understand why teachers were always like, yo, show your work. Because they want to know how, where you went dumb. Where did you get 1990, 2015, or 14, and you, you get out 40? Where did you- how? I want to pet terrorists so bad. They're so cute. You fucking idiot. Imagine having a pet terrorist, though. If I had a pet terrorist, I would name it something that's like not really like terroristy. Like, it would be like... Barbara. I feel like Barbara's like an old woman who always pays an exact change. But a pet terrorist, that would be a... That's a tough pet to have. It'd be like running around plotting attacks on the city and like trying to blow up your car every time you forget to feed it. <coughs> oh god, bless me. Thank you. So happy I don't have reptile dysfunction. <laughs> reptile dysfunction? Huh? What is that? Is that like a lizard with like an extra eye and like one arm is shorter than the rest? Dude, it's erectile dysfunction. It I have a question for the guys. What are some things that guys love to hear from a girl? Silence. Whatever happened to hello? Listen, let me take you to dinner. Can I? You're like a brother to me. He's just a friend left on the liver. Read six hours ago. He's too nice. He's too short. He's not packing. I'm not ready for a relationship. It's not you, it's me. I'm just not ready to date. I got a boyfriend. I like you, but not like that. Ooh, sorry, I'm really busy this day. I'm not sure when I'm available. Promise you won't get mad, but see what happened was. I'm sorry, I'm sick today. Sure, I'll go out with you. Never shows up to the date. Sorry, I was sleeping. I'm so sorry, but I forgot. Definitely let you know. So, do you want me to keep going? Is it a turnoff if a girl is confident enough and asks you out? Not even a little bit. I'd even go as far to say it's actually preferred at this point. Because I don't know if you realize, but you guys have set up a lot of boundaries in the recent years about, you know, how we should respect women. And of course, we want to respect women, so we want to respect these boundaries. But now, like, a guy is a creep by default if he tries to approach women anyway. Like, it doesn't matter if they're at the mall or the park or the store or the gym or where they work. Nowhere. And then we're also creeps if we try to slide into the DMs and say hello. And to me, dating apps are just a fruitless endeavor. Like, I've been on every single one for, like, the last, I don't know, seven years or something. And during that time, across all the platforms, I've maybe amassed three matches, at best. I guess I'm just ugly. Whatever. But I digress. It's not a turnoff by any means if you want to approach us. Again, we we'd actually prefer it at this point. Like, even boundaries aside, the fact that you'd want to approach us because you thought we were, I don't know, like, that good-looking or that funny or whatever have you. Like, that's one of the few compliments we're going to see for the next decade. We'll take it.